Okay, are you ready? Go. Good evening. I'm Deja. Welcome to Science Buzz News. Tonight's top story, America's entire sewing industry is going under. Here's to tell us. Actually, that's not true. The, the shoe industry is just, is doing just fine. I'm not sure where you got that idea. You told me before the show that Harvard published a new study stating that running out without that running without shoes is better for you. If that's true, no one is going to buy shoes anymore. Duh. Well, you have right. Yes, Harvard did publish a new study about barefoot running, but the researchers did not conclude that that is necessarily better for you. They simply wanted to find out how our early ancestors could have ran comfortably for long distances with no shoes. I guess I never thought about how early humanoids used to run. Yeah. Now I think this is about it, I'm pretty sure I don't remember seeing any pictures of anthropology's textbooks showing homo... Sapiens? <laughs> no. Erectus. Erectus. Wearing Nike's latest model of hovercrafts like cushioning. What? So Nike's how good. did they run from it? Are you guys done? The researchers found that people who run barefoot and walk in the balls on the on their feet. Whereas those of us who run with shoes on land on their heels first. This is called heel striking. The scientists at Harvard hypothesized that heel striking may be that heel striking may be the cause of repetitive stress injuries of many runners today. Though they have not tested that idea. Will you stop doing that? So why would they think that landing on your heels when running might cause stress injury? Because the force going my heels striking two, two thirds, three times, two thirds, three times, two to three times your body weight. When your heel hits the ground, your foot comes to a complete stop. And your leg has to absorb all that energy. However, landing on the balls of your feet first, like most barefoot runners, utilizes the structures of our feet. Deja, why don't you switch to weather? No. No. I am.